Welcome back to Greenfield Village on our opening weekend of the season. And today we have our Thomas A. Edison Ford Fighter, Steve Locomotive, pulling the train, and I'm Mike, your conductor. Now for the safety of our younger riders, we ask that the adults with them place themselves on the outside of the road. If that's not practical, please make sure they're held or easily within your reach. And please stay seated while the train's in motion. Keep those arms and legs and especially your heads inside the rail car at all times. And please refrain from smoking, eating, or drinking anything but water or more. The Greenfield Village Railroad. And as we begin our journey to explore over 300 acres of embarrassing innovation on display for you today, I'd like to remind you Greenfield Village is divided into seven districts, and our first is Henry's Model T. You can get a ride on a genuine Ford Model T car at the loading dock on the corner of Bagley and State Street right here in Henry's Model T district. How did you see the sheep again? And that brings us to the birthplace of Henry Ford. On your left, it's the Ford Farm, built here in Dearborn, Michigan in 1861. Henry was born in that white farmhouse in July of 1863 and lived there with his parents and five brothers and sisters. And you'll notice in the pasture today, that's our herd of Merino sheep. Some of the finest wool in the world comes from Merino sheep. You know, people often ask me how many sheep are in that herd, and I gotta tell you, I don't really know. Every time I try to count them, I fall asleep. Oh, come on, it wasn't that bad. Anyway, that brings us to our Main Street District. Here you'll find the Wright Brothers Home and the Wright Cycle Shop, the birthplace of aviation. Across the street is the Cohen Millinery Shop, for a fashionable new hat, ladies, and take a spin on our 1913 Herschel Spillman Carousel. innovations as the microphone, the photograph, and over no, 8 to be back on the train, but don't look so good outside. No. Also on your left, that mustard yellow building is the Sarah Jordan Boarding House, where Edison staff used to live. It's the first residential structure in the U.S. to be wired up for electric light. the gateway to our Porches of Pilots district, that's the Acme Covered Bridge, from 1832 in western Pennsylvania. And just beyond the bridge is our next stop of the day, that's Susquehanna Station. From here you have full access to the entire Porches and Parlors district, including the McGuffick School, the Hermitage Slave Quarters, the Noah Webster House, and the Robert Frost Home, just to name a few. So if you're leaving us here, please stay seated till the train comes to a complete stop. The engineer will give a blast of the whistle, that means the air brake is set, and then I'll give you the go ahead to exit on the left side of the Don't forget that wristband or ticket to get you on and off the train all day long. Once again folks, please stay seated till the idea of that whistle blow. You want to move to the back? No? Okay. Wait for the whistle, everybody. 